Hello what's poppets and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the DIYs that I've done in the past. I've picked some of my favourites that I want to show you. Yeah, I haven't done a DIY for quite a while on the channel. It's been really hard. I had to take a step back. I know I used to upload three videos a week and then I brought it down to two and then I had to drop it to one video a week. With the cost of living and everything, I work a lot more than I did and I don't have the time to film a DIY, let me tell you. Now when you do a DIY, um, it can take a while anyway because of drying times and things, but when you're filming a DIY, it does take that bit longer. Then there's the editing on top. So it can take me all day to film a DIY and then it DIY editing <laughs> is a lot harder than this sort of thing. This sort of thing's quite an easy video to edit when I'm sitting, talking, showing you things. It is quite easy. Now, I don't like doing easy videos all the time. I do like to get creative, but it's finding that balance at the moment, and it, I am struggling, but I, I'm feeling so creative, and it was so nice to just go around and pick out some of my favourites today to show you guys. I do have a playlist on the channel, I think it's called Magical DIYs, the word DIY is in there so you'll be able to find the playlist. There is so much on there, I'm not going to show you it all today, but there is so much on there, so please go check it out if you're interested, it might inspire you to get creative yourself. But I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, I think, things that I really want to show you. These are the things that I've made that just really, really make me smile. There is actually a tenth, but it's not with me because I did give it away to one of my Patreons. Um, I was looking for it for ages and I was like, where is it? And then I was like, oh yeah, I think I gave it away. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to show you these. It's just really making my creative mind go in again. And I, I do need to, I've got so much planned on paper. Um, my patrons do know some of my plans that um, I want to do DIY wise. There was a big DIY that I've been meaning to do with my dad again, but um, it's just not happened yet. But I, we want it to happen so bad. But anyway, if you want to see the favouritest DIYs I have done on this channel so far, then keep on watching. And if this is the first time you're seeing this face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you love anything to do with Harry Potter or magical, this is the place for you. Join the magic and mayhem, hit subscribe because I'd love to have you. A massive thank you to these guys. These guys are my Patreons. They help me keep this channel running just that little bit more. If you'd like to know anything about Patreon, it's linked in the description of this video along with my social medias. Go see what I'm up to on those. Okay, where do we start? I have got the itchiest of itchy eyes. Okay, so the first thing, yeah, this. We're going to show you this. So I even created a box for it. Can you guess what this is? It is Umbridge's Quill. I made Umbridge's Quill, and I do love how it turned out. I think this is one that I was a little bit nervous about doing, but we did it. We got there. We winged a DIY. I do say that in all my DIYs. So this is the quill. So it's basically, obviously, a feather, and then I've got, these are beads that I glued on and obviously painted over them black and then we've got a nib there. So yeah, there is Umbridge's quill. Obviously yes, I did create a box for her quill, which yeah, it's really, really cool. And I do also have this piece of card that I put in there which I just think it needed this finish to finishing touch. You won't need any ink. So yeah, that is Umbridge's quill. I just love everything about this quill that I made. It's, it's a DIY that I am very, very pleased with. I painted the, it was an old wand box from a subscription box um, and I just painted it pink and just sponged some black on it because she does have a lot of black, doesn't she, Umbridge, in her soul. And then we've got some little paw print with ribbon there which is cat-like to me. So yeah, I thought everything fits so well for that DIY. Next, 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 we're going to show you this. <clears throat> this is something that when it got to the end of the DIY, I was literally like, yes. I love how this turned out. So I did a divination cup. Oh, I literally got the white cup and saucer. I think it was from Asta or somewhere. Just a plain white cup and saucer. It did take me a while to find because not a, places, not a lot of places do cups and saucers. They do cups, mugs, what have you, but not the saucers. And then all I did was with 
a tea bag. I split a tea bag. I think it was a PG Tips as well. Should have picked a cheap tea bag. What a waste of tea. And then, was it Mod Podge? And I just drew with a little paintbrush everything in there. And I just, <laughs> I just think like, it was a DIY where I was like, Suze, you're actually quite clever. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's to me own horn, but I loved how it turned out. And I do, I think it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And it sits proudly on my shelf, I tell you now, that is so dusty, oh my days. Some of this stuff is dusty and I apologise because it's just on shelves and I don't dust very often my shelves because it would take forever to dust my shelves. The next thing I'm gonna show you, this was quite a while ago that I did this. This was in, I would say 2020 that I made this. It is a bit dusty. It sits on my Weasley shelf. Um, are you ready? I just love it. Look at that. Oh, my days, what's it called? My head's gone. I can't think what it's called. What is wrong with me? Decoy detonator. Oh, my day, Susie. I have always loved these. Like, in the film, when they're, like, tottling along the floor in the ministry and they, like, multiply and then start doing their stinky gases and stuff. And I was like, oh, I love them. I absolutely love them. And it's something that I've always wanted in my collection. Now, one, one of the reasons why I do DIYs on the channel is because I can't afford, like, everything that I see. And not only that, they don't make everything. Did it? No, they did sell Umbridge's Quill when I made that, but I can't, you know, I couldn't afford it at the time, so I was like, I'll make my own. And I do them as a DIY so that people can have a go too. We can't all afford everything and some things aren't available to us, so we get creative. This was a pain to make, but only because when I'm doing DIYs to try to fasten up the drying time I use a hairdryer and I use a hairdryer to dry the black paint on this thing and I for some, I put the hairdryer in there to dry that and it just fell apart and I was I nearly cried I, I might have cried I might have cried but yeah this is why I do these and not only that you know sometimes you when you make things that aren't available to you which is one thing there's two things here that I absolutely love that is hard to get hold of, or one of them I don't even think I've ever seen before. Um, but they're unique to you. Do you know what I mean? They're unique to you. And so many people have messaged me and said, you know, you've inspired me to get creative, or I've made this, like, there's an item here that I want to show you. So many people have messaged me, well, actually, not so, lots and lots, but people have messaged me and they've said, pitch, sent pictures of their version and I'm like oh I'm so happy that people are getting creative it's so lovely to see but yeah decoy detonator is definitely a favorite of mine it's one of my DIYs that I do look at a lot and it was hard to make this for some strange reason it did take me a while okay so I've got three more things here before we go over there and show you what's over there so I made this a little while ago it was over a Halloween series but I can't remember when I got a feeling it was 2021 I don't think I did this last year I could have done it last year. I can't remember. No, I might, it might have been last year. I can't remember. So we made a mummified Cornish pixie. Okay. It's gross, but it was for Halloween series. But I actually really love how this guy turned out. So we've got here this mummified pixie. And you would find it in Borgen and Burks. There is a Borgen and Burks sign there. And what did I put in it? Oh, mummified Cornish pixie. And then it says, the Cornish pixie mostly found in Cornwall, England, electric blue in colour, up to eight inches in height and very mischievous. The pixie delights in tricks and practical jokes, all descriptions. Although wingless, it can fly and has been known to seize unwary humans by the ears and deposit them at the tops of tall trees and buildings. Pixies produce a high-pitched jabbering, intelligible only to other pixies. They bear live young. Let me open it up so you can see it properly. But there you go. Mummified Cornish Pixie, guys. Mummified Cornish Pixie. It's gross, but it's cool. And I do honestly really love how that turned out. So, yeah. Woo! Oh, my day, Susie. Put it down. So, yeah, that is another favourite. It is another one of them DIYs where after I'd finished it, I was like, I actually really love that. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is quite a recent DIY. It might have been one of my last bigger DIYs that I did that I was able to do. I made the golden egg and literally, I'm not gonna lie, when I started making this, 
when I started making it, I was a bit worried because obviously I it's an there's a I think it's a plastic egg or a foam egg I can't remember the like I said it's in my playlist if you want to see how I made it people don't see behind the scenes and it I'm do it does when I've edited the video I'm like god I've made that look so easy and <laughs> this wasn't the same with the decoy detonator and another DIY that I'm going to show you but with the problem with this was obviously I got the clay all round it did all that but then I had to because I use air drying clay I had to etch all of the markings copying a picture of the golden egg and what I found was because I had to hold the egg and I was etching it but then where I'd held it the markings were like really I'd messed them up because of holding it it was really, really hard to do. Excuse me, I've had Pepsi and I'm very gassed now. But we got through it, we got through it. And what I did anyway is once the whole egg, had, the clay on the egg had dried, I went over the markings again while it was dry and scratched them. So it worked out in the end anyway. Um, and then I remember having my gold spray paint can and spraying it and it was silver. <laughs> I think I left that in the video. So then I had to go out the house and find gold. It really confused me because the tin was gold and it had gold written on it, but it was silver. It was the name of the make, gold spray paint. And I was like, but why would you have the tin gold and it be silver inside? People like me get really confused. And in tiny writing, it said silver chrome. Don't do that. But yeah, we got there in the end. This is definitely a favourite of mine. I love this golden egg. And then look, I tried my best to do it. I don't think I did a bad job. I don't think I did a bad job. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. But this next DIY is a definite something that, let me just sort it out a minute because it's gone a bit ski with. It's not on a right display. I still need to find the perfect display for this thing. Are you ready? Guys, those of you that have been with Farai, can you remember when I made this? It was one of the most exciting things. And then I did a giveaway and made another one. Um, and I did give it, I did two, I'd made two more, this one obviously for me, then I made two more, one for a giveaway on the channel and one for a giveaway on Patreon as well. Um, and obviously my Patreons got to enter the giveaway twice, three, three times because the Patreons, when I, I haven't done a giveaway for ages and I'm sorry about it, I really, really am, I just, I need to do one really. Yeah, when, as a Patreon, the channel giveaways, their names get put in twice plus they had their own giveaway with one as well, so their names got put in three times as well. I can't remember who won. I really, really can't. But it was a while ago. And I was so excited to be able to do this for you guys. And I did say, I remember saying, if I could make one for you all, I would. But I don't have that kind of money. This was something that I know a lot of people want in their collection. The Cursed April Necklace. Just in case someone didn't know what this was. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. It's something I know a lot of people want in their collection. And I managed to... It took me months and months to find the pieces for this. And although I've tried helping others find the pieces, um, some of them aren't available now. But I've told people it's, hang on, rhombus connectors? Oh, I can't remember now. But um, yeah, it, it took me months to find the pieces. But obviously I found some and then it took me another month to find another piece that I needed. Oh, it was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So... Yes, this is a favourite because it's the Cursed April Necklace and I absolutely love that I've made this but a lot of work went into this before I even started making it. So <laughs> I, it really sits well in my heart this one but the Cursed April Necklace, it might be a number one favourite because I just absolutely love how it turned out but I do want, you know how the um, Mummified Cornish Pixie is in obviously a box frame. I want this in a box frame. It definitely doesn't fit in there. And I did have a bigger box frame than the one with the Cornish Pixie in, but it's still too big for there. So I am yet to find a box frame. I might go and have a look in Hobby Craft again and take this with me. I may have to have a look, but I'd rather have it in a box frame because it is quite dusty. It will clean up fine because I've done it before but I don't want it ruined, so I want it in a box frame. But yeah, that is a definite favorite. We are now going to move across the room though, guys. And I will show you the last bits. Okay, so, oh gosh. Look at the owl on the top. So this beauty was made, um, 
was it 2021? I want to say 2021. Me and my dad got really creative and we made the Weasley clock. This will always, always be in my top favourites. Ignore the little icicles. <laughs> it's so dusty as well. It's so dusty. And then over here, we've got another Weasley clock that I made. I absolutely love that. Hang on, let me shine my light on it. There we go. And then this shelf as a whole, I created this shelf and quite a lot on it I did make as well. Well, not make, but things like chattering teeth and things like that. Um, I found them in shops and I just I got creative. I got creative. I've got Luna and Harry. I don't know why Harry's there. I just kind of put him there. I think I love the colours and I was really proud of the um, the wall, how I painted it. I thought, yes, that's really, really cool. I did make the hand there. I did make some baby pygmy puffs that are in that little red box that are meant to be for sale. Um, nothing else handmade on there. Yeah, well, that I've handmade anyway. But yeah, I do have a lot of DIYs that I'm proud of. But the ones I've showed you today, guys, are my favourites. They definitely are my favourites. But um, like I said, I do have a playlist of all my DIYs. So if you really want to go see them all and you want to try and get creative yourself, go have a look and see if I can inspire you. To get creative. But this has inspired me to get creative. Like I said, I have got a list of things that I want to make. It's just finding the time at the moment. So... As long as, you know, even if I can do smaller DIYs that maybe won't take as long, I'd really like to. But ha there will be a DIY at some point, all right? You're definitely going to get some DIYs this year out of me. Have I done a DIY that y is your favourite, whether it's in what I've showed you or whether it's one you've watched that I haven't done in this video let me know in the comments because it, it does interest me to know which is your favourites too I'm gonna go though guys thank you so much for joining me today I love 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 your company thank you for just being here and supporting me I appreciate it so much but have a good natter with me guys because I love chatting to you all and I will speak to you all in my next video bye Potter Poppets